Hi, I am Gladys. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see what is cord key barrier diode. So, cord key diode is constructed by joining n-type semiconductor material and a metal electrode together. The junction of semiconductor and the metal is called Scott key barrier. This diode is named after the German physicist Walter H. Scott key. This diode has a low forward voltage drop and switches over very fast. This is the symbol of Scott key diode. It has two terminals anode and cathode. The metal acts as anode and n-type semiconductor acts as cathode. This is the construction of Scott key diode. The, this figure shows the construction of lightly doped n-type semiconductor and the metal electrode joined together forming metal semiconductor junction. The metals used are molybdenum, platinum, tungsten or chromium and the semiconductor used is only n types material. Normally gallium semiconductor is used and silicon is used in low frequency applications. This is the Scott key barrier. The junction formed by joining the n type semiconductor and the metal is called as Scott key barrier. The electrons have to overcome this potential barrier when external voltage is applied for the current to flow. Next we will see about the working of Scott key diode. When external voltage is applied and forward biased, electrons receive more energy to cross the junction barrier and move from n-type semiconductor to the metal and thus the current starts to flow. The current is due to the drift of majority charge carriers. Since there is no p-type semiconductor, there is no holes and thus no minority carriers. So when the current starts to flow, there is a voltage drop across the terminals. The voltage drop of normal diode is 0.6 volt to 1.7 volt. But for Scott key diode, the voltage drop is 0.15 volt to 0.45 volt. So this is the reverse bias condition. So when the diode is reverse bias, the metal is connected to the negative terminal and n-type material is connected to the positive terminal. The size of the depletion region increases and the current stops to flow. There is small amount of leakage current. When the applied voltage is increased further, the current increases. And when increased further, the depletion region breaks down, which damages the device permanently. This is the VI characteristics. Here we can see the VI characteristics of Scott key diode and PN junction diode. This is the current and this is the voltage. So when compared with the PN junction diode, Scott key diode needs very low voltage drop. The advantages are it switches very fast. So it is used in high speed switching applications, low junction capacitance, operates at high frequencies, low cut in voltage, very low power consumption and high efficiency. The disadvantages are it is more expensive, operates at low voltages, it gets heated up very quickly, it has high reverse current. The applications are it is used in diode rectifier, voltage clamping application, high speed switching applications and solar cell. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.